Okay, I'm recording. So, um, I'm going to be doing the lazy girl method. Um, if you want to see how I got this hand, just go back to my previous um, video. I just showed you the application, um, but I didn't top coat it because these were going to be matte. So, essentially, that's how they were going to look anyway. But today, I'm going to be doing the lazy girl method. So, um, I think her name is Femi Beauty on YouTube. Um, basically, all it is is you stick the acrylic inside full cover tips. I have full cover tips right here. Um, I did put um, base coat from, you can find this brand off of Amazon because um, I don't really leave my nails on that long. So I figure I didn't want to waste my prep, but um, you can definitely prep your nails the same way you would prep if you were doing um, like a full set. If you plan on keeping these on long, so that means but um, taking an e-file and you would clean around your cuticles, push your cuticles back, take your e-file, um, buff the nail, um, dehydrate. I use this or you can use acetone or you can use alcohol. Um, essentially, it's the same thing. So dehydrate and then you can use your... Um, prep so i figured this would be fun because um i'm really trying to practice my marble i'm not good at marble like at all and i just wanted to practice and plus i recently made this brown that i'm getting a lot of compliments on i'm so happy um i made that brown myself um with chalk so um yeah, so I'm really proud of that brown. I wanted to try that out, and I just wanted to try this out. So, essentially, all you do is... Okay, so I have all my nails down. Zero. Okay, so this is my thumb. So, basically, I'm just going to do it the regular way. All you do is put it in the inside. Literally... That's it. You're just putting it in the inside. And I'm not expecting these nails to be as thick as my other hand, but we can definitely compare um, when I'm done. This is my first time doing this. So I'm just going to do it to my best ability. If you want to see how you're actually supposed to do it, then y'all can go check out Femi's video. So you just put it in the inside. That's my dog. She's taking a nap. So I really like the size and everything of these tips. Um, the shape is bomb. The only thing I don't like about full cover tips is um, sometimes they can be bulky, like on the sides. So that's really why I don't use them. I have full cover tips um, already, but I don't really use them. So I'm just going to... Okay, so you do this. And I'm just trying to make sure I got it on all the sides. Mm, looking a little see-through on that side. So I'm just going to add some more. Just make sure the color payoff is everywhere. And literally, all you do is stick it on. Stick it on. So, boom. Okay, I don't know what I did. Maybe the acrylic dried. Like, you're supposed to just be able to stick it on. 
And I know the base coat shouldn't really bother this because Femi actually does the same thing. I don't know if she uses base coat, but um, she actually doesn't prep. It's crazy because of the same reason. So it should stick. Okay. Oh, it's getting in there though, y'all. But you see how it skipped right there? Let me lose looking. So we can move on. I'm going to try to do a ombre. So I'm going to take a wet bead of this beige color that I love. And then I'm going to take some of this brown. And I guess just swirl it around. Not ombre. What the hell? Marble. And just let them swirl into each other. I don't know how this is going to look. I'm like not good at this. I'm literally winging it, y'all. So, like, if it's ugly, I mean, that's ugly. <laughs> that's ugly, but whatever. That's really ugly, actually. Like, I don't know why I cannot get with the marble. Like, I just can't. I don't know how to do this shit. And like no, it's it seems like the concept is so easy, but for some reason I just don't know how to do it. Like I cannot figure it out. Now what finger is this going on? Press it in. That looks okay. It's okay. It just means the acrylic dried. Y'all can make like bomb ass like press ons this way. bomb ass press ons if you're into that I'm just going to add a little bit more acrylic Okay, I don't know if that's gonna see what I'm saying. I'm gonna take some clear. I'm gonna take a bead of clear and just add it to the back of that. You definitely would want to keep your monomer more clean than I am, but I don't really care right now. Okay, I know it's not dry entirely, but we gotta move on. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, maybe I should measure the fingers before I like try to stick them on. Okay, this is my pointer. I think my pointer should be glittery. Like, who doesn't love glitter?
and you would definitely like smooth out underneath like take your brush and just wipe underneath the nail but like i'm not doing that because i just i don't care but like if you were really trying to like wear these nails and be cute you just want to make sure they're clean Ooh, we can put mylar in here. I'm like a mylar whore. I actually have some little pieces on my desk. Because we don't waste anything over here. You can put mylar in there. Kind of like how I have mylar on that hand. Boom. Is it going to show through, though? I probably should have put the mylar down first. So you can't really see it. Let me if I push it through. You can't really see it. these little gold flakes and get my brush wet my brush get a piece stick the hole in there I'm just gonna put them on the sides because that's where there's more transparent at on the sides but if I what I should have did was stuck a clear bead down and then stuck the mylar on top and then put the glitter on top of the mylar so it can peek through you know see but it would be way more like transparent i'm gonna do that on the other hand so y'all can get what i'm saying the hell whatever and then i'm gonna take a clear beat fill it in there try not to get anything on the top but i was just thinking like boom like i can do it this way because i'm real good for like switching my nails up but the only thing is I'm wasting my top coat. And, like, top coat is fucking expensive. I feel like I'm wasting it. Because, like, I could be saving my top coat for my clients. And then all you would do is take your brush. And just clean up. Like, swipe it down. Just make sure it's, like, neat underneath. See, again, I'm not making a set. I'm just trying it. So, like, it's not going to be cute like this. It's just going to be a bunch of random shit. Okay, and then I have this new stuff I want to try. Let's close this up. that brown what is this it's literally like a sheet of paper oh but it oh but when you touch it it okay mm. I'm just gonna cut a little piece off I'm not really sure how to use this though. Like I've never worked with this. It's definitely sticking to everything though. Like, whoa. Get your ass in there. How the hell did they package it? Like. Look at that. You see how it's just falling? 
least in pieces. Oh, my hair got fucking monomer in it. Love that for me. Okay. So, this finger, we're going to do clear beat. Boom. And we're going to add this to it. However, it decides to add it. So, boom. Wow, but it's turning a color I don't like. It's like doing this weird thing. Sorry, there's a cat outside. It's like bleeding. I don't like that, that it's bleeding. Boom, and then we'll do glitter. On this side. Kitty. <laughs> yeah, my friend calls me Dr. Doolittle. Cause I love the animals. Oh, that's kind of cute, but I just wish it didn't bleed. <laughs> Right, boom. And then again, I'm gonna take a speed of clear. Set it up here at the top. And stick that hole down. That's cute. Wait, is this supposed to bleed? Like, is that the, is that how it's? Like, is it supposed to do that? If y'all use this, can y'all let me know? Because I'm genuinely confused as to why it's bleeding. Oh my god, the cats are like... Y'all, the cats outside my window tripping. They're up kind of high. Like, I'm confused. Like, does he need help? Or is he trying to find his lover? Okay, y'all. Um, I didn't. The bead then got dry by me looking at these fucking cats. So, boom. And then stick it right there. I really like this now. I think this is cute. Like, like you can incorporate this into a set. Like, that's tough. I'm kind of happy that it bled, though. But, like, if it didn't, it wouldn't have the same effect. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I like that. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. That's actually nice. I thought it was brown, though. That's blue. That is definitely blue. Also, I think I'm going to try this method for the marble again, but just um, not these colors, like maybe white. Okay, we're going to just do a full cover brown. I'm trying to grab as wet as I can, but it's kind of hard because I can't see. Boom. This looks like chocolate. I love this color. Boom. 
Boom, 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 boom. I'm really trying to get the sides. That's the only thing I have with this. It's like the tr the sides, like the Marie's not wet enough. Like, does it matter? Like, am I gonna file that off? I don't know. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a clear bead, a little bit of clear in there, just so it can adhere. And I'm going to stick it on. And I guess if you get some on top, you can just wipe it with acetone or something. I'm not mad at the method. I think it's just a little messy. <clears throat> like maybe this works better with like poly gel or something. But I don't use poly gel. Okay, so I did the lazy girl method. Now she fouls. Mm -hmm. Love this color from Model Ones. Beautiful color. dry it's not dry okay i'm gonna file um so these are a little bit shorter than the nails that i have on my hand at the the pinky the thumb is shorter than my tips so that's not bad all I'm going to do is bring them in just a little bit more. I really like this shape, so at this point, I'm just nitpicking. I just like more pinched down here. I like it to be more pinched. This one was skinnier than this, but I cut it down because I got it melted by accident. Doing something I had no business doing. So we're going to shape. Right, boom. 
So I'm actually not mad at the top. So there's no need to like file the top on any of these because they fit pretty good. Um, literally all it is is getting the little uh, piece at the end off and just, if you want, making them skinnier. I've been walking around with one hand for so long. It's like I don't even know how to file. On this hand anymore. But um, I thought this would be f cool because um, I started noticing that um, I put so much effort into my non dominant hand. And then when it comes time to do this hand, I'll have acid. So I'm like, well, I'll just try the lazy girl method. And um, I show like that. And I do. I think it is easy and convenient. It is a bit messy, but that's nothing a glove um, won't, you know, solve. Just wear a glove. Or wash your hands afterwards. Um, thick nails wise, they are a t oh, actually, they're about the same. They're a little bit thinner. It's like a smidge thinner. Like a smidge. They're a little bit thinner. Um, the apex isn't bad. But, um, honestly, I'm not, I don't build a high apex on my nose anyway, even though you should. Again, I don't keep them on that long. So, I don't really build a high apex. But you need to because that's, when you have really long nose, you need the apex because that's where your strength is. If not, your nose will break. So... Literally, this is all I'm going to do to them. I think they look pretty good. I'm a little bit mad at this pinky, though. This pinky is ugly to me. Um, I really love this pointer finger. Their marble is shit. <laughs> Actually, it's not that bad, but it's shit. <laughs> yeah, that marble is shit. Like, who am I kidding? Full cover is hard with this method, though. I'm not really a fan of full cover. I think you need to, like, pizzazz it up because it skips. It's hard to get it, like, in the little corners. But, like, if I would have did, like, glitter, it's easy to, like, disguise that type stuff. Or even, you can even, like, just paint the inside. Like, let me show y'all what I mean. Show y'all what I mean. Yeah, they're about the same, like shape was. I just gotta get this little thing off. Yeah, I'm not mad at them, but this is what I mean. Get a brown and just paint the inside. Much better. Oh, I can't get that, but I can paint the top. Mm, is it necessary? Yeah, no, I can't paint the top because that's a completely different color. Completely. So I'm just going to wipe that off with some acetone. And then I'm going to cure this. And then I want to do, I, I like the whole matte thing. First, I was like forcing myself to use matte because I started peeping that I was running out of top coat and I'm like tired of ordering shit off of Amazon. But then I really, really, really like.
like the way the mat looks. So, um, I'm going to top coat these all matte except for the glitter nails. Um, and I think my next set is going to be blue. And I really want to use that, use some of this. Either blue or purple would be cute. I'm going to try some of this. So I think this is cute. And I have rose gold. And then this is all stuff that my aunt brought me a kit. I'm not really sure where we can get this from. And then these are like butterflies. But that's like summertime. So I probably won't use these for a while. Um, but I do have some butterfly decals that I can use this with. That would be cute. So I'm just waiting for it to dry. But this is why I don't really show. Excuse me. This is why I don't really show this part in my videos because I'm just like, I have a UV lamp and UV requires a long ass time. Like, who the hell wants to sit here and watch me dry my nails? Nobody. It's not fun. The fun stuff is over. But I really like this set. I get a lot of compliments on this set. I took my time with this set. I'm really liking. I actually only put, um, they're matte, but I put glossy top coat on the Mylar pieces. And I think that was cute. Like, it's like little details and stuff like that that I like that I do. Um, I think I'm get, definitely getting better every time I do nails. I learn something new. I've been doing nails for, um... I'm going to say like eight months, but I started really like taking it serious. Um, I say within like the last three months, I started really like doing nails. Um, I really enjoy it. It's, it's something fun. Like COVID like was killing us. Everybody, we were in the house bored and I feel like, um, a lot of people, realized that they like they picked up new hobbies and they're having fun with stuff so i just been because like i always wanted to be like before um youtube jobs were like a thing i always wanted to make videos on youtube i've been watching youtube since like 2011 or some shit like that like i've been watching it for a long ass time so i always wanted to make videos but um, I think now that it's becoming like this big thing where people make money off of it, it's kind of hard to like make videos and like um, people see you and genuinely um, like your craft. Everybody is sponsored or um, business deals and things like that, which I'm not mad at that, but um, I think it kind of like took the fun out of YouTube. Like, I think YouTube used to just be more authentic. Um, but nonetheless, um, I think every time I do a set of nails, I'm just going to pick up the camera and record. Um, just because, like, I don't really care for um, to be famous or anything like that. But I want to get myself out there because I want to talk to and interact with other um, nail technicians and, like, um, subscribers, like, people that, like, just like to watch nail videos, just give me ideas and stuff like that, just to interact with people. Um, I do have a nail page on Instagram. Um, I think it's, um, Jacked XJB, so J-A-C-K-E-D-X-J-B, um, that I post and stuff like that, and I follow other nail technicians on Instagram and, um, I went in like a live one time and I met other nail technicians and they were really nice. It's definitely not like um, the beauty community, like makeup and stuff like that. They're a lot more nicer, which like I can like appreciate. And um, like the, the, I got all of this, like not all of this stuff, but like a lot of like the monomer and like um, a lot of little stuff that I was missing, brushes and everything because I met like another girl um inside the lab that was from the same city as me and she told me about a wholesale nail um store so it's like stuff like that that I can appreciate so um I don't know I just think it's fun like I think this is fun um 
I don't know if y'all know, I, this is like my second channel. Um, my last channel was a little bit more popular, but I was doing makeup and hair and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I'm good at it, but like, it wasn't fun for me. But this stuff, like this is fucking fun. Like, I love doing this. I've always been kind of artsy, um, but... I love doing this stuff like I really want my next set to be hand drawn so um, I'm gonna look at Instagram and stuff like that for some inspiration but like as of lately I've been seeing like a lot of like stiletto like women um I've seen like um this one girl drew a black woman on her nails and like she had like this transparent the rest of them are like gold transparent with like gold flakes and stuff like that i think that would be bomb i've also seen like um purple transparent nails like it's so much shit you can do with this um and i just think it's fun like i'm i'm enjoying myself um so if you come across this video leave a comment you don't even have to necessarily subscribe just leave a comment um because i think this shit is fun i think this is fun and i like meeting new people with that enjoy the same thing that i do and we can be nice to each other and you know share different techniques and stuff like that because i don't know i like watching other people do nails like right now i'm following femi beauty um she's been doing like uh, when I first got started, like, my style def definitely changed with nails. So, in the beginning, I was, like, um, really messing with her nails because they were just so rambunctious and stuff like that. But I think her style is kind of changing. So, I'm not going to lie. I haven't really been watching her that much. Um, Christina, somebody. I can't think of her name. Um, I watch her sometimes. But, again, her style is changing. She's starting to do, like, um, she does more, like, weird stuff like makes whole full sets out of like weird stuff which i can appreciate like it's it's fucking fun you know what i'm saying like this this is fun stuff like this is fun and i just generally i enjoy it so here are the nails i'm gonna wipe them off I don't want y'all to sit here and hear me rambling. Again, this is matte. Here are the nails. And I think they turned out pretty cute. Um, These are bomb. These are matte. Well, let me see if I can wipe the cuticle oil so y'all can see how matte it is. Um, Yeah, I think these came out cute. And I think this is definitely like for somebody that's not that great at application. Um, you're not good at like sculpting, um, dual forms and all that stuff. Or you're not good at like just period application. All you're doing is slapping acrylic in the inside. Like anybody can literally do this and you can come up with like crazy ass like designs. Like I noticed like the best nails come out when you just slap shit together. When you think it, think too hard about stuff it's a fucking failure but when you just go in you just have like a color scheme and you just freestyle the best sets come from freestyling so <sighs> i'm gonna end this video right here i have to do laundry as y'all can see my fucking dog is laying on my dirty clothes so i need to get i have to do laundry and i'm just gonna let y'all go so i hope y'all enjoyed my video these are my nails um i think they're so cute um yeah so leave me a comment and give me some ideas of like other nails that i can do because i don't know how long i'm going to leave this set on but maybe i can do like get my mom to like do some long nails do y'all think these are long because i think these are like perfect um length i think they're i don't think these are long i consider these medium but I really want to do double stack, but I'm not there yet. So I'm going to go. I thank you guys for watching. Again, if you come across this video, please leave a comment of like different nail stuff that I can do. Like give me some insight. Um, maybe we can do this again with a different color. And like we can definitely try to marble again when I get these off. But they're on there. Even though I put the base coat on, these motherfuckers are on there. So I'm going to let y'all go because this video is 40 minutes long. Peace.